Good evening, everyone. Well, this year's No Cayman on Ski Marathon was unlike any other. The wind chill factor made for freezing temperature and low visibility for many of the skiers. However, that did not deter them as they took to the start line here. Around 1,400 skiers participated in various races throughout the marathon, like the Half Marathon Classic and Freestyle Races, the 24-kilometer races, and many others. Aid stations were necessary for skiers to refresh and regain their body warmth. Skiers traversed down several steep hills as they made their way towards NMU Superior Dome. The weather slowed down many of the skiers, but not Verona, Wisconsin's Carl Nygren, who captured the half marathon classic race in around three hours, eight minutes and 57 seconds. He was happy with his finish. It feels pretty good. It was a fun race. Um, got to ski most of it with a good friend of mine, Brent Knight. That was fun. Um, really snowy, really slow conditions, but it was a fun event, so glad to be here. St. Paul's Claire Luby was the first female half marathon finisher in the classic race with the time of three hours, 45 minutes and 33 seconds. And Marquette's Eric Soderman blasted past his competition, finished first in the 24 kilometer classic in one hour, 16 minutes and 14 seconds. It was uh, most of the race is good because it's in the woods. It didn't blow too much snow in it. It was at the end. It was a little, this track's been snowed in a bit, but it was good. That is one wicked snow beard. Well, in the 24 kilometer freestyle, Marquette's Logan Zuger wins in one hour, 13 minutes and 43 seconds, while Houghton's Michael Brothers captures the half marathon freestyle in three hours, eight minutes and five seconds. For more results and times, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. In some hockey action, Michigan Tech finishing up their home series against Ferris State. First period score here by Andy Huff of the Bulldogs. It's 1-0 Ferris State early. Later, the Huskies are attacking. Malcolm Gould's shot will hit the post, so it's no good. So we go to the second period here. Dakota Kletcha with the steal, and he races towards the net and scores on the backhander. Ferris State goes on to win 3-0 over Michigan Tech as the Huskies split the series with the Bulldogs. And some more hockey scores tonight. NMU and Alaska Anchorage currently in the first period, while Bowling Green defeats Lake State 6-2. Also, Bemidji State and Alaska currently in the first as well. No score. And in college hockey, the Finlandia men and women fall to Adrian College. 7-1 for the women and 5-3 for the men. The Marquette Royals looking for a win here. They're currently up 8-3 in the third period over St. Louis. In high school hockey, Midland defeats Marquette 5-4, while Kingsford scored three goals in the third to win. Andrew Zander scored two of them. Wes Papour is your winning goalie with 30 saves. And in the Cooper Dental Showcase in the Sioux, Hancock tops Canton 7-4, while Sioux St. Marie wins 3-1 over Port here on Northern. Boys High School Basketball, Republic Michigami hosting Bark River Harris. David Simola misses, but will score on the put back here in the third quarter to give the home team a 31-30 lead. Cody Welch to Troy Teeple drives in the lane, makes a nice layup here. It's 35-32 home team after three quarters to the fourth. Good passing around the perimeter as Marcus Antela gets a nice layup here. Hawks up 5, 37-32. Short time later, Antela will spot Philip Koski underneath for two more points. It's 41-38 Republic, but the Hawks would not score in the next four and a half minutes. Nice steal here by Cody Welch goes down the court for the bucket. So we are all tied up at 41. Later, Troy Teeple, Jordan Sodegren, no, but Kyle Kleinen there for the putback. Yes, that was part of a 12-0 run that enabled Bark River Harris to earn the road victory 50-43 over Republic Michigami. Two girls basketball, the Traverse City Central game has been canceled against the Sioux, while Dollar Bay wins by 11 points at home over Ontonagon. The enemy women lose a nail biter 75 72 to Wayne State despite Alyssa Cola's 23 point afternoon. The men fall as well by 10 points. Ethan Blackwell led the Wildcats with 14 points and five steals. The Michigan Tech women fall to a last second jumper by Shelby Harrington. They lose 63 62 to Saginaw Valley while the men fall by two points despite Austin Armgo's monster 31 point afternoon. The Lake State women fall 74 70 to Ferris State and the men are the only UP team to get a victory this afternoon. They topped the Bulldogs 75 to 70. Cameron Metz led the team with 25 points and 11 boards. In college basketball, the Go Give It Community College women win by 28 points on the road over Marinette, while the men do the same 82 70 over the Michigan Tech club team.